This is my kid's bedroom. The water came up to about here. The trundle bed was floating in the water. Brianna this Del Moro and her children there. came home to a disaster. The, the place that was supposed to be their fresh start flooded. I just moved in two weeks ago from Florida. So um, this is definitely something crazy. She can't shake the thought of how much worse it could have been. My one-year-old sleeps on that trundle bed with his little sister. Their belongings, some still unpacked, destroyed. Their dog was standing on these boxes to get out of the rising water. I know it's not as bad because it's material stuff, but it is still, you know, people work hard for their money and for their stuff, you know, so it just kind of sucks. Her landlord, Jim Hudson, was emotional seeing the damage. And she's trying to make this a home for her kids. And then something like this happens. Hudson says he's frustrated with the city. He says it's the fifth time in 12 years this has happened. It happens so often, it's nicknamed the Whitman Bowl, the name of this street. It's almost like a toilet where it flushes and the water comes up and then just as fast it goes right back down. He and other neighbors believe the problem is a drain in the street. He says the city has installed sewer backup prevention pumps, a waterproof door, and even raised the windows on the home. You know, I appreciated those efforts, um, but, you know, it's, it's been ineffective. He wants the people responsible to make this problem spot a priority. We need some help down here. We need this fixed. It's, you know, this, this could have been a total disaster. You know, if the little kids had been downstairs, if the, the dog was in its cage uh, downstairs. Neighbors agree. Somebody needs to do their job here, okay? Um, there's no sense in getting into it or getting emotional about it. It's a horrible thing. They know it's a horrible thing, and they've just let people deal with it and said, oops, we're sorry, after the fact for many, many years, and it's got to stop. Now, Local 12 has made attempts to get answers from the city about what the issue is and what they plan to do about it. We will let you know when we hear back. Okay. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and click subscribe to get notifications and stay in the know.